mentioned that shooting was far from the only one to rock a community in the city this weekend. By our count, 10 people have been injured, nine of them shot, one person dying following the violence throughout the city. WREG's Jordan James is live tonight after speaking to those affected. And Jordan, what are they telling you? Hey, Shay, and talking with many of them, they tell me this is what they fear the most, a surge in violence as we get ready to head into the summer. And I can tell you that Memphis is currently on pace to possibly surpass last year's record number of homicides. On a weekend where we remember our fallen heroes in combat. Fire. Please Another type of war is raging in Memphis, crime. It's frustrating, but I mean, it's everywhere. Over the last two days, there have been fights, robberies and shootings that have left at least nine people wounded and one person dead after a double shooting at this Whitehaven McDonald's where employees are still shaken hours later. It's frightening, actually. Because I could have been at work, but thank God I was off that day, but one of my co-workers could have got hurt. MPD says generally the summertime is when crime tends to spike. Here we are approaching summer months. Young people are out of school. We know what the trends have been, and it's a difficult period for us right now. The city's top cop believes guns being more accessible is what's attributing to the rise in crime. As a result, they have partnered with the ATF to try to cut down on gun trafficking in the city. And there is a prevalence of all kinds of guns, even converted guns, you name it. You can find it here in Memphis along with the community. Hey, we got to make a change. Desperate for the white flag to be waved sometime soon. In a number of these shootings over the weekend, MPD says they're still searching for suspects. If you know anything, give Crime Stoppers a call. That number is 901-528-CASH. Reporting here live tonight downtown, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.